And he may have left a red to left middle for Ronnie. You could hear a little something from Matthew Sell as he got up off that shot. He knew straight away that he'd caught it wrong. It's not a straightforward pot for Ronnie, but you can see it does go and he's got it. So big mistake One. from Matthew Sell. Back to the drawing board Focus almost. Foot. How does he turn this one around? Three, three, one down in a race to five. Ronnie O'Sullivan in a commanding position as he's so often. Didn't catch it, ideally full in the face. When it came off the cushion, you can see this little bit of side and it worked out well, just this glance on that red there. Man, very good friends with Stephen Hendry over the years. Six to four. Stephen Hendry wouldn't be a bad man to talk to if you're looking to improve your brake building. The possibility of a third century for Matthew Sell would be more than good 95. enough to win any match against 95. anyone. But he's still got another frame to win. As he misses the black, would you believe it? No third century of the match for Matthew Selt, but a 95 to go along with his 102 and 105 breaks already. Eight. Does have the brown here. Just wants to miss the middle pocket. Little touch of left hand side on the cue ball, it looks good. Brilliant shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Left himself in an area where he was always going to have an angle to play that shot and he played it perfectly and that now surely the winning shot of this match. It'd be very interesting to hear Ronnie O'Sullivan's thoughts on how he feels he's played during this game. It makes no difference. Because he is going to be through to another semi-final. 26. This red to seal the deal. 27. All things considered, it's been a good day at the office for Ronnie. He's got the job j job done, he's got the W, and that's all that matters. Matthew Sell will be bitterly disappointed. A very good comeback. He's put in a good shift himself, so to be fair. You can see the disappointment just leaving his body there, showing us exactly so how he's feeling, deflated. But he's never gone close to even beating Ronnie, and today he has done. Not quite managed to get the job done, Matthew Selt, but a good week nonetheless. Sort of five. Well, that red doesn't go in, but the handshake will be incoming. Ronnie O'Sullivan, as he so often does, finds a way to win. The rocket into another ranking event semi-final. Five frames to four. He's beaten Matthew Selt here on table one. Well, that was a big pot. Big shot to take on to the middle. Dave weighed his options up and fancied the job, but it's not made its way into the pocket. One. Easily said, hard to do. 45.
52. You can see the way Dave's sitting. Doesn't even have the cube beside him. He knows this is over. Score so heavily and so quickly. Judd Trump. 60. Becoming one of the very best we've ever seen. 61. Consistency is the hallmark of all great champions. And when you're consistently putting yourself in positions, consistently potting balls, asking yourself the question to win matches and keep producing... 61. It seems hard to see how this man can lose. Sixteen. Every time he steps out there in the arena, you just fancy him for the job. And he's produced again. He's not had it all his own way. David Gilbert will look back on this match a number of occasions where things may Seven possibly have gone differently, but it wasn't to be. And it's this man, Judd Trump who's through to yet another semi-final of a major ranking tournament. Of course, he will face the winner of Daniel Wells or Barry Hawkins, currently locked at three apiece over on table two. Keep an eye on the scores at wst.tv for that one. Judd won't be bothered one bit. His job is done. He's into the semi-finals. Mighty. Mighty one. David will be disappointed, not just the results, but his performance. However, there's plenty of positives. This is his first defeat of the season. Again, seems to be in a much better place, physically, mentally, and also with his game. So Matthew three. there's every reason to think he's going to have a great season. Matthew four. So this pink for career century, 991 for Judd Trump. Oh, he's miscued. <laughs> yeah, he won't be too bothered about that miscue. Certainly, he's had great support from that crowd there. I'm sure as he leaves the arena, get another cheer. Again, the semi final to look forward to tomorrow. And you still feel he hasn't played his very best. I'll give him a lot of encouragement. Yeah, you can see there, I'm just saying goodbye to the crowd. Warmly appreciated. And he'll be looking forward to entertaining them again tomorrow.